so this is our dictionary app so you can see this is my project structure now i have my asset folder with images that we are going to be using in this project and i'm also going to put the link to this image in the description for you to download as well so we'll import what you are going to be using in this project and uh, i also have my python so from my python import part lib so from part lib let me import <coughs> part then we also say from tikinta let's also import our asterisk so then we are also going to import request requests okay then from tikinta also import message box all right so we are done with the imports now let's assign some path for our images so output path path to assign file dot parent we also assign assets path so output path so assets so we are our images folder we are signing the path for images folder so it will be easier to load our images so let's assign some function for the image so relative to asset path then string we'll give this a string so but return assets but so but let me go assets so basically when we need that image we are not going to be assigning the long part we are just going to be calling the relative asset part so this is also helpful especially when we are trying to pack this as a app so let's assign our window to tk then we we'll say window dot geometry let's give it a size of a thousand by six hundred then um window configure background so this is a background color that i use you can see we have that blue background color you are seeing here so that's what i'm assigning so let's also do window the title let's say dictionary okay so window <clears throat> icon part we assign this to relative to assets so you see we are going to call the relative to assets rather than calling the whole part so this is a, a, a nice way of assigning image window to ICM. So window dot icon bitmap icon path. All right. So canvas send this to window. We'll give this a beginning of let's copy this and paste so the height of width as well so this is just, we are just as creating the window so you give this a width with the border width zero 
assign the height already. So let's do highlight thickness. Zero. Relief. Let's do reach. All right. So converse again. So we assign this x to zero, y zero. So let's launch it. So we add some error. Uh, I think it's the icon bit map error right here. So the the name of the image is supposed to be i window ICU the ICU. So let's launch it again. And see. So. Let's see what else uh, again. Well, let's see. Okay, we we have to pack our window first, so. We've packed it so window the resizable. Do the main loop. So you can see we have our window now, which is what you can see on there. It's working perfect now. So you can see we have the blue and the ICO that we just added. You can see the ICO there and that blue background that we added. So we have our fresh new window pop up now. So let's next thing we are going to add is this new image the that you saw there. Now let me sign image 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 one photo image so you are using the photo image to assign the the image you saw there so far you call the relative assets relative to assets image one but one canvas dot create So you can see we have our image right here. Now let's put the create first for one. So you are giving anchor of northwest tests of say this fill we'll give this a fill kind of white font for things twenty four. So I'm giving the font of poppins font size of 24. Let's launch it. We have some error. I think perhaps you forgot. Okay. So I think the color should be hash in front of the color. So let's launch again. So you can see we have 
test. So next you are going to create the text box there. So entry image. Copy this and I will say entry one dot png and then I will launch. So okay. You have to pack it first. I have to put it on the page. So let me just copy the whole of this. So I don't have to go over again. Let me just paste. So we we'll change this to entry Beijing. One. Change this to 500. Change this to 335. Now we'll call the entry image one here. So you can see we have our test box right here. Then we did zero pigeon hash. As you be so give it also a foreground gray highlight. Zero. Set background white. So entry one not place. So what we are trying to do, we inserted the entry image. So we are trying to insert the entry inside that image there. So that we can have that nice round width. Then now, sorry, the nice round border radius. Zero. So let's put. So yeah, let's try to insert some tests. So if you look at the app, you realize that there's some placeholder in the app. Type in a word. So let's try and put that placeholder in the test box. Um, entry one, place this again. So we are assigning some events that we'll be using to be handling the disappearing and appearing of the placeholder in the entry box. So like if the person click on the entry, you may want the placeholder to vanish. So the person can type in and set their word. So let's bind this again to another event. So let's copy paste here. So one will be focused out. Entry focus. Out. Okay, so let's comment this bind out so you don't worry us. So we'll, we'll come back to it when we create a function. So you can see we have our entry box with the placeholder test inside there. Nicely placed there. Now let's add a button. So I'll come on down here. We'll add a check mini button that you saw here. So say button image 
root one relative to assets. Image button image one. So we'll give us a heart. Let's copy the highlight thickness instead. To add zero this. Relief flat. Okay, so you want the button to be flat. Now we we'll paste the, we we'll pack the button. Give it the uh, x. Three three zero from zero. Y will fall to five from zero now. So. Wait. Height. So let's launch this and see. Now you can see we have our button right there. As you can see, we have our button right there. And, uh, so what you do now is you are going to add some functions. To, to call our word when we search so we we'll scroll up scroll up so somewhere be be below this we we'll create some functions to handle the event for searching word so first fetch word data Word. You are. So I'm using the fetch uh, free API. So let me launch. So this is a free dictionary API that I'm using. So this API will give us the words when we search. So if you also can decide to use your own API. So right here you can see we have the API. Uh, HTTP API, this API dot dev. So that's the API I'm going to use. So this API, if I copy and paste, if I call the words, the menu, I call the words in the menu, the menu of these words from that API. So if the API have the menu of the word, it's going to give it to me. So you can also decide to add an API, if it may be for Google search or any API you want. You can put it there but for now let's use this now response we give to request dot get you are so if response status call assign to unread data JSON. So it will give us the we'll take the response in JSON format. And then we'll convert that. So first we say definition will assign to data. So we we'll put those in the list an array. So we'll say minis. Informations uh, 
so then we'll have the definition so what you are doing you are trying to take the data that we receive from the api which will come in the json format so you are going to convert that data into list so we have the synonyms and anthony so first we we'll do the synonyms so we can put them in a label and display them on the page so we also assign the synonyms from the meaning So synonyms, autonyms to, we change this to autonyms also. So we return definition, synonyms and so let's assign some none, none. So it means if we can't get this, we we'll just display none there. We we'll just display an empty list, an empty. So let's find another definition for search. Words. So word is entry one dot get zero. So we are going to create the function that we can bind for the placeholder, such that when the user clicks on the placeholder, it vanishes for the user to enter their word and search. So strip. So let's see what I want to say. Okay, let's do if again word and word type any word. Okay, where are we again? Let's do this. Um, if we then we use this. So fetch word data and uh, if again definition result window so we are assigning the top level window where we display our result whenever we search the web so result Let's copy a pieces. Geometry, the size of phone. So you can see the little window that pops up whenever we search. So we'll give this result window dot title. So, give. so if I check my meaning of my work you can see this window that pops up right here so that's what we are trying to create as the top up top level window so result for 
let's put double quotes wait yeah. bridging image so you can see there's some background image that pops appears on the image on the top level image that we we assign So that's the pop-up PNG. So all these assets are in the folder. I'm just calling them straight from the folder. So canvas results window with 100 height and width. Then canvas dot um, back both. No, let's put as string as point true canvas. Um, create. West. All right. So canvas again. Okay. Test. Twenty. Twenty. Anchor. Northwest. Test. So we call the definition. So when we get the definition which we assign at the top, we are calling that definition here whenever we extract it from the API. They will give you that definition color white font poppins. Now, okay, us let's do now. Let's come first here, do another if before same. So you see my name is canvas dot create test. Then uh twenty one twenty anchor northwest text. So we we'll use same for the let's do a so fill light green. So our synonym will look over the light green color font poppins. Um, 
a width of this is uh, Let's copy this and try and paste it. Yeah, available. So not available. So that's if you can get a synonyms, we will display this test not available to the user. So let's do same for the acronyms as well. So I just copy this and paste. Change this to acronyms. Let's also come here and then do 200 let's change this to attendance as well make this red this is 200 attendance this is red Beijing image I get the if function else message box so we are sending some errors for Red not found. So let's also assign another else for the function. So word not found is entire word. So that's if the user don't left the empty the entry box empty. Now let's do the on entry like event. So we we'll bind the events the focus event that the focus out focus in the focus out. So let's do one. Send this to type in the web. Of entry one. Not get delete. So it means the moment the user clicks on the type in the web, it will vanish. It will delete what's there. So the user can enter what they want to enter there. Let's duplicate and do this. Config. Let's give it a color of white. Let's copy this and paste. And this is for in focus. Out. So we'll do is we change this to empty string. 
changes to type in the word paste it here and then we we'll also change to gray because the default color is green so let's come back and remove the comments out now so let's save this and let's add a function to the button so the button that will search whenever the user click on it so let's command record the search word function so we'll save again launch so if i should search any word now let's search for mail okay name request not found that's line that's line 14 let's go to line 14 okay so we've imported requests yes you can see that we imported request but we are calling request yes so it's supposed to be request with the s so we search again another error title line 32 so it should be title the title is wrong we'll save this again launch again then search again female search again all right so you can see it's working now now we have the name of the word in the acronym search welcome so this depends on the api if you can find synonyms with the api to display not available okay you can see this one like this you can find the synonyms so in any manner let's try if you don't enter anything this will give you error please entire word so yeah So Lord, all right. So you can see in the synonyms, the definition. We can't find that term, so it doesn't find that term. So, so guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, can you drop in the comment section? If you have any question or if you have any suggestion. Or if you want me to add any functionality to it kindly comment whatever you want kindly comment so i'll look at it then i will get back to you so thank you for watching this video and please hit the thumbs up because i have a whole lot of good stuff coming that you may you may want so subscribe and stay tuned for anything that drops